Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to I will show you how you can manually program the flight plan in a CRG 700. Currently it's located uh, at the General Edward Lawrence Logan Airport which is uh, near Boston. So let's uh, jump into the airplane and let's make sure that we are setting up the flight plan. To speed up the things a bit uh, I'm gonna put the aircraft in turnaround mode because that will at least ensure that all systems are running uh, as you might have experienced yourself when using the CRG 700 it's a lot of work starting the airplane um, so I also saw some threads on the internet that it's really complicated it's not the easiest airplane uh, to fly with but at the end it's worth its money so we're gonna specify the uh, starting point which is KBOS uh, we're gonna copy the initial position um, we leave the pilot and gate for now and we're gonna go to the flight plan and the flight plan has a few fields which you need to populate it's the origin and the destination the origin of course you need to put in the numbers else you will get an error here so again cables and the destination was kilo charlie hotel Shera, which is the Charleston Air Force Base. Uh, so what I did is I created a flight plan using onlineflightplan.org. Uh, so I'm having now my, my tablet in front of me and I'm not making up these waypoints, right? I also use the online flight planners to plan my flights because that's easier. Now there are a few things. There's the alternate destination or alternate destination which you can specify right if the mm, for some reason the airport is closed you can still let's say land on a different airport uh, the originating runway which you can specify here or you can do it another way and that's what we're gonna do and you can specify the two field here uh, the two field here is used for direct flights so for example if I want to fly directly from KBOS to Kilo Shera oh no sorry Kilo Charlie Hotel Shera, then I can punch in the numbers here and it will set up a direct flight. But yeah, that's not what we want to do. So I'm gonna press execute, and the execute will make sure that the uh, flight, or at least the departure and the arriving information, is added here. As you can see, there are no lags here. And um, that's what we're gonna do manually based on the flight plan. So why do we start with? Well, we start with the cables uh, itself. You can punch it in here. Then the next one is uh, Charlie Yankee Oscar Tango India. Uh, specified here. And you can see while doing that, it specifies the direction, but also the distance between the waypoints. So the next one is uh, Foxtrot Oscar X-Ray Whiskey Delta. Again, it has the point here. Then uh, Riffle Romeo India Foxtrot Lima. Echo, and then we need to go to the next page, and that can be done by, of course, using the next page button. So where were we? Where were we were at uh, Golf Echo Delta India Charlie GDIC, followed by Echo Mike uh, Juliet Alpha Yankee. Then uh, Yankee Alpha Zulu Uniform Uniform. Then Zulu India Zulu Zulu India. Followed by Whiskey Alpha Romeo November November. Then we again need to go to the next page and you can see that based on uh, the top here, the top information. Then we go to Shara Risky Lima. Then to Delta Uniform November uh, 
Foxtrot Echo. Followed by Kilo Alpha, Lima, Delta, Alpha. Shira, Alpha, Whiskey, Echo, Delta. We're almost there. Oscar, Romeo, Foxtrot. And here you see a uh, pop-up coming. And then it says, that's, as you probably have seen in one of my other uh, how-tos, is caused by the fact that some of the waypoints have multiple, I would say, locations or multiple uh, countries where they are active in. So based on that, what you need to do is you need to check the... Um, location and also the uh, mouse so in this case uh, this one looks pretty correct the top one so we simply select the top one here and then it will be added to the flight plan so it also brings us to page number four uh, tango yankee india then india delta delta alpha alpha Oscar Bra oh, not too fast. Oscar Bravo November Echo Echo and then the last one is Kilo Charlie Hotel Shera and then you could press execute and after we did that, you can see that the flight plan has changed here. So let me uh, do that. Uh, and as you can see, you can see multiple points being added here. Uh, so let me see if I can zoom a little bit out. And this is the max. So you can see it's a, it's a, well, it's not a very long flight, but it's, it's a reasonable flight. So now we did that, we've got the uh, flight plans, but in some cases you want to use, for example, the SIDs. And the SIDs is the uh, inf is a route which is, I would say, uh, created to uh, do a nice departure from a certain runway, right? It's our, what say, predefined routes. And to do that, we can press the Depart and Arrival button. And based on that, you can either select the SID or the runway. So for example, if I select runway 04, it has only one SID. If I go back and I select a different runway, I can see, you can see that I've, we've got multiple ones. So let's select one of them. And based on that, it will modify the flight plan. And we can press Execute. If we now go to the legs, you can see that it made a change. So it added the runway and then added the waypoints which are belonging to the uh, to the SID. And after uh, that's being done, it will continue with the flight. In our case, what we did is we added cables, which uh, might have not made the smartest, I would say, decision. So we kind of press the Dell and then uh, hit cables. Uh, and then say execute, uh, which will remove that certain lag, right? So now cables has been removed. The same thing can be done for the arrival route. What you need to do is either press depart arrival twice, or you can go to departure, then go to the DEP ARR IDX, which stands for index. You can uh, select the arrival. And here you see the same thing. So you see the approaches here and the stars here. And the stars, as you might know, uh, stands for terminal approach uh, routes, which is also a predefined route for a certain runway. And these are the approaches and those are being assigned to you uh, by the ATC, right? You have the options in Flight Simulator to predefine the approach, uh, but that's, uh, Really up to you if you want to do that. So we're going to select uh, the second one. And then we're going to select uh, the transition, which is uh, DQ. And then we're going to select the approach. Well, let's do uh, 433. 
you can select arrival data then it will show you the information so it will show you hey this is the airport it shows you the glide scope angle which is uh, three degrees and we'll show you the frequency which you can use, the uh, runway threshold altitude and the bearing. And if you go to lags, it will show you uh, the lags, uh, which is, I would say, are currently the lags from our starting point. But if we go to the uh, other pages, uh, you will see that after it hit the destination airport, it will continue with the uh, route which we uh, pushed in. So what we're going to do again here is we're going to uh, first hit execute so it's being activated then press delete and delete DHS then press execute again. So depending on the uh, flight which you have added it might be that you say okay hey the route is not that optimal and you want to change uh, or remove certain waypoints. And as you have just have seen, it's really easy to remove those waypoints, right? So let's zoom in again. So currently it goes like this. It, we are departing, then we're making a right turn, then we're continue the turn. Uh, then we're going to uh, Bravo, Lima, Zulu, Zulu, Romeo, and then we're flying back to uh, Crotty. So let me zoom out a bit further. Oh, different. And then we're going to Fox uh, WD. So what probably is uh, a better idea to remove to remove uh, QOD uh, from the route. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go back using the pages. Here's QOD. And then we're gonna press uh, delete and then select QOD. And after we did that, we hit execute and then it will update the flight plan accordingly. So now it's a little bit of makes more sense, right? Um, the same thing you can do there, you can do the same thing for the destination airport or the destination, yeah, the destination airport. Um, but it's kind of a little bit more complex, right? Because the tool doesn't allow you to zoom in or out. Um, in other airplanes, you had the option to, I would say, uh, scroll further to the top, scroll further down. Uh, but I haven't discovered that option yet in this airplane. Uh, so if you know how to do it, then feel free to post a comment in the uh, in the box below the video, uh, so I can uh, can let other people. So you know, we can let other people know, right? Maybe I can also create a new video about that. Uh, one of the other observations I had uh, while playing around with with this is that the uh, VFR map isn't populated so even if you zoom out and zoom in and do all the stuff it won't show you anything so be aware of that you're completely dependent on the screens which are part of the aircraft itself not too bad right this is also realistic uh, I would say a pilot in a normal airplane that also doesn't have a VFR map uh, like uh, like us in the uh, the airplane and well that was it right so what we did is we initially set up the flight plan using the fplm button it allows you only to set up the origin and the destination after that we uh, added the legs manually which are the waypoint which we added manually and then we went to the depart and arrival button and made some modifications to the flight plan so we uh, selected the runway which we are departing from we selected the sid then we went to the uh, arrival airport or the destination airport there we also selected the runway and an arrival route or star route i should say <clears throat> based on that we made some optimizations <clears throat> right we deleted some of the waypoints which are not needed and now i would say we're ready for takeoff or probably we should first follow the flight plan of course because we made some modifications and then we can take off um one last thing I want to show you is that the flight plan itself contains the full flight plan and also the option how you fly to it, right? So you can see that everything is direct. So we're going from one uh, waypoint to the other one. And then we eventually go continue with the uh, other waypoints of the star route. And then hopefully we will land at the correct airport. So here ends this video. I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, if you like it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them below the video. 
And if you, I would say, if you're interested in uh, new videos, then consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.